Hello, Facebook people, and welcome to Friday. Anyone else got that Friday feeling? So, hello everyone, Melanie from Speaking Styles. Um, I hope you've all had an amazing week. We are at Friday, and um, I've got to dress up for the occasion, right? And to really just touch in is that, you know, we've had a week where myself and, and lots of other people have had a lot of firsts. So a lot of maybe firsts going, attending a networking event on, on Zoom. You might have been hooking into lots of conference summits. So there might just be a lot of firsts this week for a lot of different people. And I just wanted to let's um, be able to share some of those firsts. And also, you know, what some things that you might have learned from them as well. Um, if you haven't maybe used a lot of technology before, like how have you been finding it when you've been joining? How have you found communicating um, online, um, maybe at different events and you've had to introduce yourself? And, you know, online can be a little bit different than, than in person. So anybody watching live or on replay, then yeah, l let me know in the comments, maybe some firsts that you've had this week. Um, I'm just going to um, share a few of mine that I've had this week as well. And, um, and, and, and everybody, if anybody else is having Zoom life, let me know. Um, I feel like that's just the way that we, we, we work now. And um, I used to have lots of days where I didn't really have to potentially dress up. Um, and now I'm having to quite a fair bit because I'm doing so much more. Um, even though I was using Zoom, I'm doing a lot more. So I got dressed up, but just to let everybody know, I have got bottoms on. I have got a skirt. I know that there've been lots of memes going around with people in um, knickers, undies, like all of those things, but I'm letting you know, I do have product proper bottoms on, I have a skirt on. So some first that I've had this week is that on Monday, I did my very first women's professional speaking workshop on Zoom. So that was the first time that I've conducted um, a day workshop on Zoom, and that was the very first time I've done that. Even though I was already going to be starting to do those types of things to give people the different options. So that was a first for me. And um, some things that I learned from that was, it's not as scary as I thought it might have been. Um, you can still have the connection and engagement through the chat, through, you know, muting everybody and still having that collaboration as well so i think you know that the learnings around that is that some of this stuff has been new to me as well even though i've i've used technology quite a, a lot over the years so if you're sitting there going god i really want to do certain things online then you know it, you do just have to get started and do it the same way as you would do if you were live and it really isn't as scary as you think it's going to be um, then I, on Wednesday, I attended my very first networking event on Zoom. And I suppose the key learnings out of that is that we still get the opportunity to share our 60 second pitch. And again, it's, you know, being yourself is the big key learning of is that I suppose don't be afraid of the fact that you're on camera is that you still get that opportunity to really be yourself um, in that and, and then really be able to share and help. So, you know, yes, it's different. You don't get the kind of necessarily afterwards of networking events where you get to take it away and start really connecting and chatting to people. However, you can connect with people there and, and then maybe connect and have some calls with them as well. Um, so like there's been a lot of things this week that have been very different to what it would be in, in person. I suppose some of the learnings is that I haven't actually had to get in my car and drive to go there. So literally I was able to go for a swim in the pool, come back, get dried, get changed, jump on a networking event, come off, go make dinner. So, you know, there is a lot of pros in that is that you get to do that you wouldn't necessarily get to do if you were having to go out to go to these things. Then this morning I had my very first live conference summit. So I was speaking for um, 45 minutes to an hour to all over the world. 
there was over 50 people on the on my session this morning so i've done online summits before um, majority of the time it has been pre-recorded and i've sent through my video um other times i have been on and um no, I haven't actually done live. That's the first time I've done a live one. So, you know, that was a first for me today was doing live. And obviously I don't get to see anybody, but I do get to interact with people on the chat. So one of the things that I learned today was they gave me the recording of my um, session this morning. So if anybody does want that session that I did, um, please let me know in the, in the, in the chat and I'm um, more than happy to send it to people. So that's the real good benefit of me doing this is that I get the recording that I'm able to use um, afterwards. And um, so one of the learnings was I watched it back this morning and it's a bit of a, I should have known. And I've known this because I've done these things before but I realized that in my slides that I was blocking certain parts of what was on my slide. And I know this because when I've done pre-recorded, I've changed things up so that I don't cover it of where I am, the little person, when you share the slides. So it was an FYI for me for Monday is that um, I need to alter so that I'm not covering up certain words or certain things around that. So that's been a massive learning for me this morning. But let me know if anybody has attended their first networking event this week online. Um, has anybody done anything differently or done anything that they would normally do in person that they've done online? Let me know in the chat. And I'm actually going to, because sometimes when I do this, is that not unless I say anything, it doesn't actually come up. I noticed this from the last time I was on that I missed people's conversations in there. But let me know if, yeah, if you've had any firsts this week, maybe what's some learnings that you've taken from it to move forward, because obviously this is the way in which we are conducting life and business for the, for the foreseeable right now. So I think that if we can collaborate together and we're able to share certain things that we've experienced, certain things that we would change moving forward, um, then obviously it's a good opportunity to be able to, to share with people. And it could be to do with your camera, it could be to do with, um, you know, all of the technology that comes with it. You know, the other day, my headphones have decided that they don't want to connect to my computer, but they connect to my phone. So the other day, the networking event, I was having some issues trying to sort out sound because I prefer to have my headphones in because, you know, sometimes you get background noise. So this morning I had to sit with all the windows shut because you know what happens? The bin men come, the grass cutters come, and if you've got everything open and that noise happens, and today because it was a live um, session, so I literally was sweating because I didn't want, um, as you'll see, the fan, I put it on and it just looked terrible in the background. So lots of different things that sometimes we have to be able to think about. Um, the other day I did a, I did a session, I did a, um, a live but will be recorded webinar and um, I tied it up behind me and then finished the call with them and we were just chatting and out the corner of my eye I seen like my my rubbish white dirty thongs were just like sitting right on the floor and I thought oh well we're, we're all human right it doesn't matter and I don't want to be perfectionism and OCD around the certain things in the background but I just thought really I tidied everything else up apart from that um, but yeah, so let me know if you have had any firsts today. Um, I'm just checking that if anybody wants to pop something in the comments, because I know from last time that I didn't, uh, I'm going to check on my phone, but I didn't see the, the chats coming in later. Anyway, if you, I'm going to keep an eye on my phone. But yeah, so that's been my first of this week. Um, and, you know, I think now come to Friday, now that I've done all of those things that are firsts, like I feel so much more confident now moving forward. And, you know, those things that until we do these things for the first time is that we can't go anywhere from that. So, you know, really don't don't hold yourself back from certain things that you want to join in on um, on Monday.
Monday, I am running that free event about getting some confidence and clarity around um, speaking on camera. And, and a lot of the time people, the, some of the problems I hear and, and see from people around taking online, they get concerned around engagement and connection. And, you know, I was a little apprehensive around that, especially doing my workshop and certain things like that. But, you know, when you're yourself, when you can use the chat, you're still interacting. It's just that you're maybe not getting to see some people depending on what type of event that you're doing, but you can still engage with people. Like my session this morning literally was on the chat. Like every couple of slides or every slide, I would say, you know, does anybody feel like this? Um, can somebody put in the, in the chat some things that we've been working on? How does it feel for you? So, you know, we're constantly having those conversations with people and at the end, people have connected with me. Um, they've booked in for free calls for next week from doing that. So then another thing that people are a little bit apprehensive about, fearful about is that the whole doing some things online is that how, what do you do at the end? Like people are a little bit scared around, I don't really want to be selling to people in this time. But, you know, there's still other ways to do that. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a big one on being able to help people and get value. So people are either downloading my freebies, attending my events for free, or jumping on a free 30-minute call. So these are things that I am offering to people right now. Um, just given the, the circumstances that everybody's in, I feel like, we're, you know, the more that we can give, the more that we can show love to people and really help people where they're at. You know, I do believe that um, abundance does come back to you. So don't be scared with running different things or jumping on and don't feel like there needs to be anything at the end of it. It's just like giving value to people and, and jumping on and, and, and being yourself. So that's really what I wanted to jump on today and just share a little bit about firsts. Um, if you're watching on replay and you've had any firsts for this week that you've attended or you've spoke at, then let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear um, any of your firsts that you've had online and anything that you can take or learn from it. And I hope that what I've um, been able to give you today and some tips and things like that around the different things that I've done and you know I'm not I'm not perfect in any way there's always going to be times where I go oh I could have done that better and sometimes you know it's just being human um as part of that and I think being yourself is the most important thing this morning I talked about more than ever right now is being super authentic and sharing with people what you're going through um you know, for me, this week has been a better week for me. And um, the last previous weeks have been quite stressful and um, and quite, um, quite yeah, quite anxious and quite fearful, given the fact that I was needing to find somewhere to live, and as well as obviously, you know, moving a lot of my business online. So I think that these are the things that we want to be sharing with people. And, you know, I still have days and still have times throughout the day where I go, wow, this is this is real. And I do miss the human connection. Now I'm, I'm, I'm back living by myself. And I've always been used to that, but I really am missing human connection. I really am missing hugs massively um so you know that we're we're all experiencing loads of different things in, in different ways but i always want to be super transparent with people and and not think that um you know i don't get some of these feelings and i don't get some of these things that we're all experiencing and you know i'm used to doing a lot from home when i'm not in person um, sessions and you can kind of forget a little bit about what's going on in the world and then like yesterday i went to the shops and then it really hits home with um, what's actually going on in the world. So I think that we recognize that and we can really help each other with everything that everybody is is, is going, um, is happening in the world. So um, thanks everybody for joining me this morning and um, I hope everybody else is enjoying Zoom Live that we're all on. And make sure that you do get up and get dressed up and really enjoy the occasion as well. So I will come back to you all very soon. Make sure if you haven't booked in for Monday's um, session on Monday night, you will need to register with Eventbrite because it's the only way that you'll get the Zoom link to be able to join in on Monday's event. Even if you can't make it 
on Monday, register because you will get the recording. So don't feel, oh, I can't actually go at that time. Just sign up for it and then you'll get the recording for it as well. Um, so there's now over 30 people already registered. So make sure that you do jump in soon um, to be able to connect to that. Hey, Britt, how's it going up on the sunny coast? I hope you're all well. For anybody just joining now, um, let me know in the comments that if you've had any firsts, any first networking events online or your first, you know, on Zoom might be me. Maybe it's like you're talking to family and family and friends and things. What's some things that you've had that's been first for you and what's some of the learnings that you've had that we can share with other people so that people that might be a little bit apprehensive about doing these things then we can all learn together. So have an amazing Friday, everyone. Have an amazing weekend. Um, I will see everybody that's jumping on Monday night to the event, um, but I probably will pop in on Monday during the day and come to you live with some more hot tips. Let me know if there's anything in particular that you do need help with, um, and then I can be able to jump in. Um, hey, Hector, all the way from America. I was just on a call with a lady in California. Um, earlier on so um, yeah let me know if there is anything really that you're sitting on and you think I just need help or I just need something answered then let me know and then I can jump on live and then everybody can really benefit from that um, but have an amazing um, Friday or Thursday evening I know with America some people it's Thursday evening um, and um, for the UK they're all tucked up in bed so have a have a great weekend stay safe stay well everybody and um and i will touch base with everybody again on monday i will see you all later bye